Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Once upon a time, Janet Jackson of the fabulous musical Jackson clan eloped with James DeBarge from another famous singing family, the DeBarges. In the 80s, the DeBarge group was on the rise even as the Jackson 5 faltered due to Michael Jackson's defection and James and Janet's marriage was big news. James, then 21, was handsome, charming and dashing. The seventh of the ninth DeBarge siblings, he swept the 18-year-old Janet off her feet. Their elopement was a scandal and a seven-day wonder, especially since Joseph Jackson, the family's dadager, was vehemently opposed to the union. But James had another problem. The pretty boy of R&B was also a cocaine addict. A little over a year after their marriage, Joe Jackson had the marriage annulled. The love was over and Janet and James moved on with their lives. After their series of hits in the mid-80s, including Rhythm of the Night, All This Love and Love Me in a Special Way, DeBarge entered a rocky patch with several of the siblings dependent on drugs. Among them was James, and when the two arguably most talented and stable brothers, Al and Bunny, left the group, DeBarge ended. Since then, James has worked as a songwriter, battling his addiction, and falling afoul of the law. James had three children, daughter Christina, 30, with Christine MacDonald, and son James Jr., 22, and another daughter, Tori, 18. The mothers of James' youngest children have kept their anonymity. Christina has inherited the family's talent for music. Grandmother, Etelina Louise de Barge, was a well-known gospel singer, and in 2003, at the age of 12, she entered the American Idol spin-off, American Juniors. Christina made it to the semi-finals and set her heart to becoming a professional singer. In 2009, she signed with Ireland Def Jam Records and released her debut album, Exposed. It was during one of the Growing Up Hip Hop episodes that her father, James, dropped a bombshell. The singer, who has had a series of difficulties, including a three-year stint in prison on drug-related and assault charges, said, I'm tired of the truth not coming forward and people being a coward when it comes to it, and I thought it was wise for me to speak out now. James revealed to Christina that when his marriage to Janet was annulled, she was pregnant and had given birth to their child in secret. Bunny DeBarge, James's sister, declared that she had seen Janet pregnant and stated, When the marriage was annulled, Janet was pregnant and James believed that as well. In the aftermath of the revelation, several women came forward claiming to be the long-lost DeBarge Jackson baby and claiming a slice of fame and Janet's not inconsiderable fortune, modestly calculated to be worth close to $190 million in 2020. A Philadelphia woman named Tiffany Wyatt approached James's mother, Etelene DeBarge, and presented herself as the granddaughter. The two women had a DNA test done, which proved unequivocally that Tiffany really is her grandchild. She declared, Now it's time for me to tell my truth. Now that I got the DNA from my grandmother, it is for sure that they are my parents. Tiffany, who grew up in foster care system, is convinced that Janet is her mother, and said with some bitterness, She's been denying me for many years. I've waited 31 years. I've kept a secret for a very long time and I want people to know the truth. James' bombastic revelation came at a particularly sensitive time as Janet was expecting her first child at 50 and gave birth to her son, Isa Almana, in January 2017. Sadly, it seems that the once talented singer's legacy and claim to fame is tied up with the women in his life, his daughter Christina DeBarge and his ex-wife, Janet Jackson. Thanks for listening. Please like comment and subscribe.